Hello everybody, this is Con and you're looking at the Ford Ranger. Okay, this is the well the Ford Ranger T6 facelifted version as evidenced by this thinner <coughs> headlights. Okay, so this is this particular variant of the Ranger here is the one spec that actually Ford should have launched this Ranger with right from the start but didn't. Okay, this is the Ranger Wild Track but uh, powered by the two, the more road tax friendly 2.2 liter engine. Okay, so previously, uh, the Ranger has this current generation Ranger T6 has been a great success for Ford. Uh, it has been the brand's best seller in our market for many years, and uh, well, it has been a major driver for Ford sales over the past few years ever since it was launched. Yeah, so uh, it's it's a very popular pickup truck. It's uh, it's always consistently second or third best selling pickup truck in the market behind the Hilux. Okay, so um, in 2015, the Ranger was facelifted with the all new with the new entirely new front, as you see uh, earlier in the video, and also received major technical upgrades. It received electrical electric power steering, which is a first among pickup trucks, and also an entirely revised dashboard, which uh, which we will show later in the video. Okay, so in where this car is concerned, the new 2.2 liter Wild Track, it's priced at 127,000 ringgit. It is midway uh, between the 2.2 XLT automatic and 2. the 3.2 liter Wild Track. Okay, so the 2.2 XLT auto priced at 115,000. The 3.2 uh, Wild Track is priced at 139,000. So this at 127,000 sits ngam ngam midway. So um, I've always been mystified why did Ford never offer this stylish wild track spec of the Ranger uh, with the more road tax friendly 2.2 liter engine. Of course in East Malaysia, okay, where majority of the buyers prefer uh, big capacity engines because of their you know, uh, displacement friendlier road tax structure, the 3.2 makes sense but here in the peninsula um, where the 3.2 pays substantially more road tax, the 2.2 is the one that appeals more to our buyers. And by not offering the 2.2 wild track earlier, I believe Ford has missed out on a significant chunk of sales, you know, from, from the get go. So right now they're getting on it. I'm not sure whether is it too late or not, but well, at least now fans of the Ranger, you can, you finally have the option okay of the stylish wild track body paired with the Moro tax friendly 2.2 liter engine okay so uh, features wise it is actually thereabouts on par you get the same stuff as you get in the 3.2 wild track uh, you get forward collision warning and all that so this is the uh, cabin okay one area where the Ranger still lags behind the competition is that it does not have uh, keyless entry and uh, engine push start button but uh, as by any standards this is still a very modern looking cabin it is a uh, this is a full on revision of the cabin that was initially launched with the Ranger T6 in 2012 uh, so look closely this exclusive trim elements these are exclusive to the wild track trim this well sort of like metallic like finish together with this like carbon weave looking like trim this is this denotes the wild tr this is for the wild track spec and yeah you can see the wild track wordings on the seats let's step inside okay so you see this uh this is an this is a new in this is an instrument cluster that came that was introduced with the uh, 2015 facelift and um yeah so you see the central uh analog speedometer flanked by a pair of virtual screen tft screens you have this uh, tachometer here this displays the you have the fuel gauge display and yeah so you can actually customize the the, the display here to whatever lah. so you can this is this this display is adjustable by just by pressing this this buttons here at the side okay all right here this side shows the entertain this is the infotainment side so you can adjust this as well uh you get voice command this was this is nothing new this was available right from the start with the ranger uh you have a touch screen in the middle okay S 
single zone climate control but it's automatic no sorry it's dual zone okay you have dual zone climate control and uh, if very usefully you've got two 12 volt sockets two usb ports okay uh electronic shift by wire four wheel drive transmission six speed automatic and look at the top of this dashboard this is soft touch this is soft touch uh, this plastic soft touch Sealed with stitching some more don't play play okay so you see this nice finish I, I like i quite like this dashboard design it looks very rugged very chunky yeah and very very stylish okay and uh, of course you get being this being a pickup truck okay don't expect like overflowing amounts of soft touch plastic like you see this is no actually it's not plus soft touch is this soft touch yeah this soft touch plastic so don't expect overflowing amounts of soft touch plastic some of these plastics are hard uh, harder grade as you see here okay but it is a hardy kind of hard so you know this is a kind of grade that plastic grade that you know if you touch it you feel it will last and this is useful uh passenger side door lock and unlock button and uh just look at just look at the center console you get this tray here this is a deep tray this deep cup holders and also a deep box this box is deep Okay, goes all the way down. Yeah, so pretty good. Let's look at the back. Okay, so at the back here, you see this. Have, we have Isofix mounts here. Uh, they have actually created these indentations that uh, enable the Isofix mounts to be quite easily located. So that's very much appreciated. You get the center armrest with two molded cup holders. You can actually pull this down. Ah, you can pull the seat back down. This reveals the jack at the back and yeah three point belt even for the middle passenger and this is useful okay those of you who if you're taking this car on uh, you know to the out in the wild this is useful this is a three point sock three point plug and another 12 volt socket here to power your electric de electrical devices no usb no rear usb ports but that's fine when you have you know that kind of power available you can power an entire laptop with that so step inside okay so well the ranger is well the ranger is uh quite a spacious truck okay inside here got good headroom good leg room uh five support actually is not bad the the seat cushion actually extends all the way to the back of my my knee here so i've got good support all the way uh there's enough leg room here for me to cross my legs so pretty all right and yeah and got adjustable headrests too okay okay that's kung fu there hi kung fu hop into the tray okay this is useful this is a 12 volt socket okay rated at 20 amps and you feel this cover this is a very heavy duty spring loaded cover so you want to plug your, your things here you can after you're done it snaps back uh, to protect this from from water oh yeah okay so this is this is a light okay this is useful at night when you switch on uh, when you when you need to illuminate this whole your your bed this is very useful to you know to light this up or if you want to have a romantic evening with your partner you can okay so uh, yep so check out this this edges of the of the bed there's this uh this is exclusive to the wild track this uh well well this thing lah this plastic thing is exclusive to the wild track it adds the this finish adds a touch of uh, ruggedness to the car you got rear fog lights and yep you got reverse camera here too you got a reverse camera here and up front this is the uh 2.2 liter diesel engine wow look check this out uh pneumatic bonnet struts that's useful you don't even find this in some so-called premium cars even okay so here's the 2.2 liter duratoc diesel engine yeah producing what 160 ps 385. 380 385 newton meters of torque so it's not exactly weak okay but uh having driven this and driving it uh, compared against the 3.2 personally i think driving right mm. i think the 3.2 liter does have its advantage 3.2 yep. engine feels smoother yep. um this one is good okay you can keep up with traffic but you get the feeling you really get the feeling that you know the engine is being pushed to the maximum to so maximum yeah, rather than it as a whereas the 3.2 feel 
feels more relaxed. Yeah, more linear. Everything. More linear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to drive, actually, memang no doubts. I think the three point two really, uh, you can feel mm. a difference. But of course, three point two, you pay a lot more road tax. Like yeah. this is way road tax friendlier, especially if you're living in the peninsula. But overall, I think this Ranger Wildtrak two point two is something that Ford they should have done this a long time ago, mm-hmm. right? And uh, so yeah, if you want the the Gaia of a Wildtrak body, but not not so heavy Rotex or two point two. This is it. This is the this is the Ranger that I think many people have been waiting for. Mm. I don't know if they are still waiting for it, but yeah, this is the Ranger that I think would have s- flew off the shelves if if it came right at the start. Yeah, yeah. Okay lah. So I think most of you would have most of us know how well the Ranger drives. We're not going because of time constraints. I'm unable to record the driving impressions, and I'm handing the car back to Kamfu now. So until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye for now.